Good morning, boys and girls. So this morning I brought something that I would love to show you. Would you like to see it? Go like this with your arms. If the answer is yes, Stephanie, show me what you brought. I want to see it. I tell you, if we can ever be together in person, we got to have a dance party because you kids got moves. All right, go ahead and stop. I will show you what I brought. It is. Dun, da, 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 a present! Do you kids like to get gifts? That was way too easy of a question. Let me think of a harder one. What is the best gift you have ever received? That's a harder question, isn't it? Was it a doll? Was it a basketball or a tractor or maybe a new game? It's really fun to get gifts from our parents and our grandparents and our cousins and our friends, isn't it? But boys and girls, did you know that God also gives us gifts? He doesn't give us a present for us to unwrap, but God gives us presents every day. If you are healthy, that is a gift. If you have a house to live in, that is a gift. If the weather is beautiful outside, that is a gift. God gives us gifts every single day. And you know what else is a gift? Our moms. Here's a picture of my sweet mom. Boys and girls, did you know that today is Mother's Day? In case you forgot, Go run up to your mom, give her a hug, and say, Happy Mother's Day, Mom. I love you. Mom, if you're watching this, Happy Mother's Day. I love you. Boys and girls, when you love someone, you want to tell them with your words that you love them. But you also want to show them with your actions that you love them. So what are some things that you could do for your mom this Mother's Day to show her with your actions that you love her? Maybe you could color her a picture or write her a card or go outside and pick her some flowers or maybe not fight with your brothers or sisters today or maybe you could do what your mom asks you to do without complaining about it. Those are all ways that you can show your mom that you love her. And boys and girls, the same is true with your relationship with Jesus. It's important to tell Jesus that we love him, but it's also important to show Jesus that we love him. If we love Jesus, we wanna show him with our actions and with our words that we love him. So what are some ways that we can show Jesus, that we love him. Hmm. Some things that I thought of was spending time with him. Pray, talk to Jesus, tell him whatever it is that you want to tell him. He loves hearing from you. You could also have your parents read you the Bible so you could get to know him better. Uh, other things you can do is try to follow what the Bible says. Make a joyful noise to the Lord. Treat others the way that you want to be treated. Uh, tell the truth. Uh, don't covet by wanting what other people have, but being content with what you have. These are all ways in which you can show Jesus with your actions that you love him. So boys and girls, I have a challenge for you this week. Actually, I have two challenges for you this week. The first one is to go up to your mom or call a special lady in your life and say, Happy Mother's Day, I love you. You are a gift to me. And the second thing is I want you to think of something that you can do this week that's gonna put a smile on Jesus' face because it's showing him with your actions that you love him. Can you do that? All right, let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for the gift that our moms are to us. And thank you, God, for the best gift of all, your son, Jesus Christ. Lord, help us to show you with both our words and our actions that we love you. In your name we pray, amen.
Have a great Mother's Day, celebrating your moms, and a wonderful rest of the week. All right, see you next time.